There has been a huge amount of conversation online about YouTube demonetizing videos. That is determining some videos cannot be monetized so the creators don't get any AdSense revenue from that video. Hashtag YouTube party is over was trending on Twitter. A lot of big name YouTubers have come forward with really disparaging stories about how some of their videos have been demonetized and they weren't aware of it and they're losing all this money. Yesterday's video and most likely many in the near future will not be monetizable here on YouTube. Now this is an incredibly complicated thing and if you want to understand all the detail and nuance I will link below some really smart pieces about it. One in particular from the Internet Creators Guild, an organization that I'm a part of, that explains this in vivid detail. This video is not meant to explain it, it's just my opinion on it, but here's sort of a, a very loose overview. If YouTube determines your video to be not advertiser friendly, it pulls all monetization so you don't make any money from that video. That sort of almost kind of makes sense. Where it doesn't make sense is in just how nebulous the terms are that define what advertiser friendly is. YouTube uses language like excessive violence or excessive swearing, very loose terms like that. And even scarier, there aren't human beings that work for YouTube determining this one's good and this one's bad. It's all algorithmically filtered. So it's that algorithm determining whether or not you're able to make revenue from your videos. Now I am an unapologetic YouTube fanboy. I absolutely love YouTube. I credit the majority of the success of my career to YouTube. I travel the world to speak to people about how much I love YouTube. I'm going to Australia this week to speak for YouTube about why I love YouTube. And it is that admiration for the platform that gives me such distress about this issue. Video is where all of media is headed right now. There is no more valuable piece of property or entity than video in the world of media at all. In Facebook's last quarterly earnings call, Sheryl Sandberg said the word video like 50 times. Twitter is pushing harder than ever to grow their video presence. Amazon is paying individual creators to post their content there. Netflix is kicking cable's ass. Everything is changing right now. And the power is going from these big traditional entities to the individual creator. So now, as long as that intellectual property, as long as that video is the product, individual creators can put it wherever they want it to go. Whether that's Facebook or Twitter, which just offered a 70% rev share with creators, the choice is purely in the hands of the creator. Now, what YouTube has in this space that no one else has, Facebook struggling to figure this out, no one else has it, like YouTube has it, is this sense of community, this kinship with creators like me, and the platform that is YouTube. Now when issues like this come up, and they're not well defined, or well communicated, or communicated at all, by YouTube, the people it affects the most, like me, that's where the problem lies. It's not that they're doing this. I agree with YouTube about most of the policing they're doing. There's so much negativity and vitriol and just horrible shit posted to YouTube every day, that they need to police it somehow to keep the platform growing and whole and attractive to advertisers, which is their business, which benefits us, the creators. I get it. But when they don't communicate it, and that lack of communication affects creators, and affects them in their most sensitive place, which is in the wallet, that is a very, very dangerous game. I want to end this by sharing my perspective on both sides of the coin. YouTube, I get it. There's more garbage being posted to YouTube now than ever before. Garbage that manipulates the algorithm to gain views, to earn dollars for crap. You have to protect your business by protecting advertisers from that garbage. But for us creators, loyalty is a very delicate thing here. Most YouTubers won't admit it, but a YouTube channel is a business. And the minute that business can't make money because of something that you're deciding, the loyalty becomes very frail. And as these other competitors are encroaching as aggressively as they are, the options for us creators are myriad. So protect what it is that you have that no one else has. Your unfair competitive advantage is your sense of community and that loyalty that is currently held by most YouTubers. And the way you do that is by open lines of communication and making things abundantly clear. Not just for YouTubers with millions of subscribers, but for everyone. Every aspiring creator that wants to build a channel and a business and maybe one day make a dollar off of their creations, it's up to you to make them feel good and safe about that. All right, that's it, that's all I have to say. I wrecked my YouTube notebook to make this video.